Hi, this is Susanna from WordPress Building Blocks, and this is the next in our series of video looks at the WordPress dashboard. We've looked at the dashboard uh, toolbar, the dashboard home area, and the dashboard posts menu. Today we're looking at the dashboard media menu, and that's right over here. Now, as you can see, the media menu is pretty simple. It includes a library and the add new button. And the media, just like almost everything else in WordPress, gives you three places to add new items. You can add new items here. You can add new items by going up to this plus sign, new, and scrolling down to media. Or right at the top of the media library page, you have an add new button. Just below that, you can choose how you're going to view your media library. You can look at everything. All. You can look at just the images, you can look at just the audio files, or you can look at what's called unattached, and we're going to talk about the unattached in just a minute. Um, I don't know if you can see on your screen, but right now we have 346 files in the library, and all of them are images except one. We have one lonely audio file. So if I wanted to look at just that, I would click on audio and it would bring up the one audio file on its own page. You can also, just like with your posts, there are some bulk actions that you can do. Now, when you first install WordPress, the only bulk action you can execute in the media library is a permanent deletion. So if you wanted to delete a group of files, you would just go and click the boxes next to those files and click delete permanently and apply and they'd be gone. I'm not going to do that right now. <laughs> uh, you can also filter. You can show all dates or you can show just specific dates. So for example, if I wanted to show you just October of 2013, I would scroll down, click that month, click filter, and there you see the new changes. If I want to see everything again, I just go back to show all dates, again click filter, and there we are. Now, unattached, um, if you look over to the right here, you can see it says unattached, and then there's a live link to attach the file. Um, that just means when it's unattached that it's not part of any specific post or page, which in this case is exactly what I want because this is my header image, so it's on every page in the site and it's not attached to any specific post or page or article. But if you scroll down a little bit, you see here's one that's attached to a post called Why Use a Studio Press WordPress theme. And if I click on this, it's going to take me directly to the post that that image is attached to. Now it takes it to me in the edit view, so I can look at it and make whatever changes I want to make, if I do want to make any. And I can do that directly from my media library, which is pretty handy. Looking across the top here, there's a search, so you can search for a specific image. You don't have to scroll through everything. Or you can page through. I've got 18 pages here. So you can page through one page at a time, or you can page all the way over to the end. Now, there's just one more thing I'd like to show you. If you hover your mouse under the name of the file, you see you have three menu items that pop up. Edit, Delete Permanently, and View. Delete Permanently is pretty obvious. That sends it to the trash. When you click the edit button, you get a new screen that shows the image at the top. It has some information about it on the right, and this is important information, uh, especially this file URL. There are times when you're going to need to use this, and if you do, uh, if you do need that URL for some reason, just click your mouse in there anywhere. This is the easiest way to do it. And if you're using a Windows computer, hold down your control button and the letter A to highlight it. 
and then the control button again and the letter C to copy it. And then you can paste it wherever you need to paste it by holding the control button and the letter V in the Ulike Victory. It also tells you the type of file, the size of the file, and the dimensions. From here you can also delete it, and if you've made any changes, of course, you can click the update button. But uh, you can add a caption, you can add alternative text, you can change the description. These are all things that you want to do for uh, SEO purposes. And that's going to vary, of course, depending on your WordPress theme and whether you're using a plugin for SEO and all of that. Uh, but that's what these fields are here for. You can also view the attachment page if you have your images set up to go to an attachment page. You can view that from here. Oh, doesn't this look lovely? Not. <laughs> That's what you get with a sandbox site sometimes. You get a real messy looking thing. So let's go back. Okay. And uh, view would take you to what we just saw. So that's our look at the WordPress media menu. I hope you've enjoyed the video and we'll come back for our next installment when we're going to be talking about the pages menu.